Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a Daily Devotional. Today's reading is entitled Kingdom of Holy Love, December 31st. The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. Revelation 11.15 The governments of the kingdom of Christ is like no earthly government. It is a representation of the characters of those who compose the kingdom. His court is one where holy love presides and whose offices and appointments are graced by the exercise of charity. He charges his servants to bring pity and loving-kindness, his own attributes, into all their office work. The power of Christ alone can work the transformation in heart and mind that all must experience who would partake with him of the new life in the kingdom of God. In order to serve him aright, we must be born of the divine spirit. This will purify the heart and renew the mind and give us a new capacity for knowing and loving God. It will give us willing obedience to all his requirements. This is true worship. Thine eyes shall see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation, a tabernacle that shall not be taken down, not one of the stakes thereof shall ever be removed, neither shall any of the cords thereof be broken. But there the glorious Lord will be unto us a place of broad rivers and streams. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us, and the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Isaiah 33 verses 20 through 24 Be ye glad and rejoice for ever in that which I create, the Lord exhorts. For, behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. Isaiah 65 verses 18 through 25 Dear listeners, thank you for listening today, and thank you for listening throughout the year 2020. This brings us to the end of the reading of the devotional, in heavenly places. May God continue to bless you and keep you as we make our transition from 2020 to 2021. Let us prepare to see him soon face to face. God richly bless and keep you.